21 Pilots has always been known for their showmanship. I went to one of their concerts and it was complete with giant hamster wheel, the climbing of towers, and even a prestige like from Christopher Nolan's movie, The Prestige. But if we thought that 21 Pilots was going to stop with their onstage performances or their music videos, we were wrong. But in a move that all 2018 marketers should pay attention to, Tyler Joseph and Josh Dunn used social media to turn a year's break from touring into a almost hallowed and mythical hiatus. Dropping clues and hints for what appears to be a very intense storyline for their album Trent, Tyler and Josh have created a dystopian universe that we can't wait to hear more about. But at the same time, keeping up with all of this is incredibly difficult. There are so many clues, secret websites, and difficult references that even the biggest 21 Pilots fans have difficulty keeping up with. While I may not go over every single theory that's ever been proposed about this storyline, I want to use this video series to discuss and list some of the ones that I've researched and have found trustworthy. In this three-part video series, I will explain the Dima mythology all the way from the No Fun Intended solo album up until the Trench album, so that you know what's going on. In this first episode entitled Setting the Stage, we're going to be exploring how Tyler has been giving us hints and clues all along, all the way from the No Fun Intended album through Vessel, Blurry Face, and even Heathens. The second episode will cover the hiatus, and the third will cover Trench as a whole. But without further ado, let's get started. Hi everybody, I'm Clifford Semi, the pop song professor. Welcome to my channel where we make English class awesome by explaining and sometimes roasting lyrics on weekdays, as well as dig into theories about songs and albums. And let's go ahead and start with No Fun Intended, Tyler's solo album that he recorded in his basement and released in 2007. There are four hints in this album, and the first one comes from the song Blasphemy. We hear, and it's said that a war is led, but I forget that I let another day go by. Which shows that since the very beginning, Tyler's been thinking about his relationship with his thoughts as a conflict, and that conflict metaphor is seen throughout all of the albums until finally we see it literally created in the lead up to Trench. In Drown we hear these lines, but it's warm from crying because he will try nine times to realize nine crimes, but he has more than nine lives, so he picks himself up and keeps fighting for the prize again. I and others have theorized that the nine bishops or the nine circles on Blurryface represent nine different sins or difficulties that Tyler and maybe people in general experience, so if that were the case, this line, which is undoubtedly a reference to what's happening in Trench, could refer to fighting against the bishops, failing, picking oneself up again, like in the ravine, and continuing the fight. Third, we hear in the same song, a random strike of light reminds me of what is true, but right now the ocean is blacker than black, the sky is too. The dark gray and black colors are a huge element in Dima, and the black that the bishop put on Tyler's throat and that he used to have on his hands and on his throat during the Blurry Face album could be related to this. At the very least, we know that Tyler sees colors as very symbolic, and for him, black appears to be a source of hopelessness. Finally, the No Fun Intended album cover is a car. The car is not exactly the same as the one we see in the heavy, dirty soul music video that's being driven by a bishop, but it looks very similar. While it may not be the exact same one, we know that cars are another hugely symbolic item for Tyler, a la car radio, taxi cab, a car toward to death, and the Heavy Dirty Soul music video. And then we get into Self Titled, which 21 Pilots released in 2009, and we find two big hints here. Number one, look at the album cover. Here we see a gray world, like Dima, where the only color to be found comes from one's mind. The outside world and external forces try to stamp that color out, in the same way that the bishops try to do in Dima. On the bottom right-hand side, we see a structure that looks suspiciously like the ones that we see in the Nico and the Niners music video. And above the sleeper, we see a light bulb. Now, it's not clear in this picture what that light bulb means, whether it's good or bad, but if it's related to the Dima mythology, it could be a bad thing. Dima's bishops encourage the practice of vialism, and nobody's completely sure what vialism is yet, but the light bulbs that they create in Nico and the Niners appear to be vials of light, an attempt to contain and control light so that it can't influence or disrupt their gray world. And then we get into a car, a torch, and a death, and I want you to listen to this stanza. The demon sat there waiting on her porch. It was a little dark, so we held a makeshift torch. And when my car was far out of sight, he crept in her room and stayed there for the night. And then I felt chills in my bones. The breath I saw was not my own. I knew my skin that wrapped my frame wasn't made to play this game. Then I saw him, torch in hand, he laid it out what he had planned, and then I said, I'll take the grave, please just send them all my way. A car, a torch of death is about realizing what it truly means to love someone who's troubled by their own demons, and the death is being willing to die for someone else. Now, if you notice in the Heavy Dirty Soul and Jumpsuit videos, the car was an important piece of imagery. In Nico and the Niners, 
torches were an important piece of imagery. And we know that we have one more music video in this storyline, and so there are some theories that that could be a death. And if it's staying true thematically to a car, a torch, and a death, then this death would be a sacrifice for someone else. And based on the lyrics from the new songs, we know that they'll win, but not everyone will get out. Regional at Best from 2011 and Vessel from 2013 have a couple of other references that might be helpful as well. In Kitchen Sink, we hear this. Are you searching for purpose? Then write something, yeah, it might be worthless. Then paint something and it might be wordless. Pointless curses, nonsense verses. You'll see purpose start to surface. Not only to outsiders would Nico and the Niners in Jumpsuit sound like nonsense verses, but what Tyler's doing by expressing his own internal struggles through the medium of art is exactly what Kitchen Sink is about. And we, are looking at these new storylines and plots the same way that we used to look at Kitchen Sink. It means something, but we're confused and we're not sure until we hear more, until the artist feels like it's time to share with us. Basically, he's following his own advice. In the car radio music video, as Tyler devolves into more existential thought and emotional crises, he's shaving his hair off. Now, I can't completely confirm this, but it's almost as if though, as he shaves his hair off, there's less between his head or his mind or himself and us. It's almost as if though it's symbolic of how he's getting more vulnerable. And since he left that car in Heavy Dirty Soul and has been in Dima, his hair's grown out. And so there's a very small chance that this could be symbolic of him being less vulnerable in the moment. Or he could just not want to shave his head all the time. If you watch the Holding On To You music video, you'll see that Tyler and Josh are singing and playing the drums while these contemporary dancers with skeleton face paint dance all around them. They're almost like wraiths or smoke as they wisp about back and forth, hovering around them and interrupting what they're doing. At one point, they put a noose around Tyler's neck and try to drag him straight down. And we see one particular ballerina who's wearing a lot of black and who's dancing by herself. All of these people seem to represent thoughts or concerns or fears or insecurities. And I wouldn't be surprised if that one ballerina represented a weightier or heavier thought such as perhaps one of the bishops. The bishops all seem to be male at this point, but she could be an early iteration of them. And finally, according to some of my Twitter followers, the Truce music video was filmed on Clancy Way. And it looks like a pretty good match to me. And of course, that name would be a reference to Clancy, the main character in the hiatus story that we've been seeing off of the DMA.org website. And now let's talk about their 2015 album, Blurry Face. Of course, the album cover is one of the most clear references to the trench storyline because in there we see nine circles. The patterns in these circles represent nine different songs from Blurry Face. And if you open up the album cover, you actually see Blurry Face made up of the nine patterns and circles. These nine circles correlate to the Dima map, which has nine circles at the center of Dima, and also correlates to the nine bishops. There are two competing theories about the relationship between Blurry Face and the bishops. He either could be all of them collectively, as suggested by the Blurry Face album, where he is all of them collectively, or he could be one of them in particular. Perhaps one of them is unique to Tyler, and other people serve different other bishops. In the mythology during the hiatus, we've heard about a failed perimeter escape that we'll talk more about in a future video, but it has the initials FPE, which refers to the fairly local, the few, the proud, the emotional. And in the fairly local music video, that's the first time we see the red beanie, the color of the bishops, and Tyler with his throat and his hands painted black. He's explained that the reason for that is because that's where he makes his music, through his throat and his hands. And so that's where he has a lot of insecurity and doubt tied up. These bishops apparently spread insecurity and doubt in their followers. In the stressed out music video, we see the black and red motif continued. We see a similar handshake to the one in Nico and the Niners, and we also hear Blurry Face speak, as we did in Fairly Local. And stressed out, he says, my name's Blurry Face and I care what you think, suggesting that Blurry Face and the bishops have to do with insecurity. In The Judge, we hear a slight description of perhaps Blurry Face or one of the bishops when Tyler sings, when the leader of the bad guys sang something soft and soaked in pain, I heard the echo from his secret hideaway. He must have forgotten to close his door as he cranked out those dismal chords and his four walls declared him insane. Now that we know more about Dima, it really sounds like the lead bishop, or blurry face, is playing his piano or his organ deep in the lair of Dima. This may or may not be related to the Dima storyline, but also in that song we hear three lights are lit but the fourth one's out. And back in Holding On To You, we heard the lines, I'm not free, I've asked forgiveness three times. Same amount that I denied, I three times MVP'd this crime. 
I'm afraid to tell you who I adore, won't tell you who I'm singing towards. Metaphorically, I'm a whore and that's denial number four. And so this idea of three progressing into four is something that's been repeated on the past two albums and we may see it in Trench in the third music video again. Doubt is one of the most clear references to Trench. He sings, nine on the bishops, claw our way up their system, repeating simple phrases someone wholly insisted. Want the markings made on my skin to mean something to me again. Hope you haven't left without me. They're feeding on the bishop's system, living off of it and being inside of it. Repeating simple phrases, hoping that'll help because someone wholly insisted. And the markings on his skin are his tattoos. They're symbolic of things that are meaningful to him. And he's asking for somebody else to save him. We could see this person show up in the third music video. Some people that will say that it was Josh in the second music video, but I think that if the storyline does go that way, it'll be somebody outside the band. Hometown could be about Dima, and that being people's place where they begin life before they have to progress or escape or get out into the real world. Where we're from, there's no sun. Our hometown's in the dark could be a reference to the lightlessness and the grayness. In Goner we hear, I've got two faces, Blurry is the one I'm not. I've got two faces, Blurry is the one I'm not. I need your help to take him out. Wouldn't it be a crazy twist if Tyler was blurry face or one of the bishops all along? Well, in a sense, metaphorically, he is. The bishops are a part of him, his thoughts and feelings. In the Ride music video, we see Tyler wear those white circular sunglasses that he puts into a pack in the Nico and the Niners music video. And we also see him wearing an army jacket that he was wearing in jumpsuit and that shows up in the Nico and Niners music video as well. However, in Ride, he's wearing a red patch rather than yellow stripes. And so we know he's still under Dima's control at that time. In the Lane Boy music video, we see success in fame personified as two people in white hazmat suits with red gloves and red at their throats. Success and fame could be some of the bishops or they could be servants of the bishops as represented by that red color. There's a video of Tyler at a concert bowing down to them and asking other people to do so as well. But then as he talks about how we need to fight back against bowing to these concepts, they start jumping up and down and partying and dancing and having a good time. And so perhaps part of the solution to defeating Dima is to enjoy yourself and to find true beauty and meaning in life. The last stanza of Heathens was always confusing to me and seemed like it was talking about something more. We hear, why'd you come? You knew you should have stayed. I tried to warn you just to stay away and now they're outside ready to bust. It looks like you might be one of us. And this could refer to holding off the bishops as somebody's trying to come in and help save you. And in the music video, we see a lot of hints about the new color of the band, the color yellow. There are yellow lights under Josh's drums, there's yellow stripes in the prison, and Tyler ends up wearing a yellow suit, a color that seems to ward off or scare the bishops. Finally, in the Heavy Dirty Soul music video, we see a bishop, possibly blurry face, driving Tyler around in a car. Perhaps the bishop went and found him and picked him up and is taking him back to Dima, or it could just be symbolic that sometimes in our minds we let the bishops drive. But it's the same car that Tyler's singing next to it at the beginning of the jumpsuit music video, and it has that trunk that he grabs the army jacket out of. And in the song itself, we hear the line, death inspires me like a dog inspires a rabbit just like him being chased by the bishop in jumpsuit. As you can see from the music, their artwork, and their music videos, 21 Pilots has been setting this storyline up for a long time. I'm excited to explain the hiatus in our next Dima for Dummies video. And remember too, that I could be wrong about some of this stuff or I may be leaving something out, but these were the best theories that I could come up with or that others helped share with me that I could research and confirm. And of course, thank you to everyone who has helped contribute to putting this video together. There are too many people to thank individually who have been sending me so many theories and ideas over the past couple of months. But I want to particularly thank at new underscore era underscore news from Twitter for sending me a big email with a lot of theories. They're linked in the description and they're a really good source for news and new things happening in 21 Pilots. I also want to thank my wonderful Twitter followers and the people who have emailed me, Facebook messaged me, and commented here on YouTube. Thanks so much guys for being a part of this and I look forward to talking to you again next time. <laughs>